Welcome to The Advocate, where topical issues are discussed in a no hoots bar manner. In other words, we call it speed by its name. My advocacy today is on the empowerment of the girl child. Bola Yaya is demystifying the ideology of feminism. Victor talks on entrepreneurship, education, and finally, the Lakpo will be talking on the power of the leaders of technology. Sit back. The panelists are here to present your Sunday do's of provoking thoughts with no hoods bar after this break. The Girl Child Every 11th of October, the world commemorates the girl child, irrespective of their various cultures, race, or background. The world is home to more than 1.1 billion girls under age 18, who are poised to become the largest generation of female leaders, entrepreneurs, and change makers the world has ever seen. Girls are breaking boundaries and barriers posed by the stereotypes of exclusion, including those directed at children with disabilities and those living in marginalized communities. As entrepreneurs, innovators, and initiators of global movements, girls are creating world that is relevant for them and the future generations. Achieving gender equality and women's empowerment is integral to each of the 17 sustainable development goals. Only by ensuring the rights of women and girls across all the goals, we get to justice and inclusion, economies that work for all, and sustaining our shared environment now and for future generations. The theme for the 2020 International Day of the Girl Child, Digital Generation, Our Generation, emphasizes the importance of adequate technological exposure of girls to the extant digital realities of the world. Why the pandemic has accelerated digital platforms from learning, earning, and connecting. Some 2.2 billion people below the age of 25 still do not have internet access at home. Girls are more likely to be cut off. The gender gap for global internet users grew from 11% in 2013 to 17% in 2019. In the world's least developed countries, it hovers around 43%. But the gender digital divide is about more than connectivity. Girls are also less likely than boys to use and own devices and gain access to tech-related skills and jobs. Only by addressing the inequality and exclusion that span geographies and generations can we usher in a digital revolution for all. With all. In order to address the gender divide in digital technical skills, from home perspective to global view, the following should be put into consideration. Proper and adequate education. When you educate a boy, you educate an individual. But when you educate a girl, you educate a generation. Safe environment for girl child to thrive beyond the menace of gender prejudice and gender-based violence. Intentional development for secured future. The girl child is a child in need of adequate nurturing and not a bride. Enhancing security and protection of both the girl child and her neighbor. Well, <laughs> this month of uh, um, next week, we are going to have on Monday the mm -hmm. uh, Day of the Girl Child, International Day of the Girl Child. Mm -hmm. According to what I just read, uh, the theme is on digital generation, our generation. And going to what you have in mind about the recent happening, what do you think about this? The, systematic inclusion of women or girls this mm. time around, especially with the recent development from Nigeria where they said persons below the age of 18 will not get access to SIM. So I wonder what will happen to both boys and girls in the university that are 16 and above. Yeah, um, I think the old girls' inclusion, feminism, it has been on the rise since like <laughs> the past years and it's still on the rise. And um, I think we can... We should keep encouraging it because that has allowed more girls to come out, to take their rightful places in positions, to get like a seat at the table in some rooms that they thought they could not enter. So I just think like this is a very interesting topic and that it's coming from a male <laughs> speaker to bring it down. It's very interesting. And yeah, we are looking forward to 11th of October where again, in all women will come in unison to speak again about our rights as girls, as women, and as females around the world. 
All right, thank you. Um, if you want to go, um, Bola, ladies first, Victor, hope you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, my opinion is that women have been marginalized too long, and uh, the, the digital generation, our generation, is a very good one because the girls around the world in this age, may, may, many women, they can't have access to simple things as technology as a phone. Some girls don't have access. Even if they do, they are not well educated enough to access opportunities. So this topic, the girl um, the girl child, is, is a very unique one and it will address so many social issues concerning women. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, um, I think in my own opinion, right, I, I remember a course I took in school. It was Educational Foundationers um, EFC, so Educational Foundation or something, EFC 101. So there's a part in that that says the boys went to school and the girls stayed at home. Wow. So I think there's a fundamental mental programming around, you know, um, whether ladies are supposed to go to school, you know. So why are the boys going to school and the, the girls staying at home to cook in the kitchen? So I see a lot of fight, you know, feminism, which is good. I see a lot of, you know, gender equality and all of those things, which is pretty much good. However, we need to first of all deal with the mental programming. I mean, when you talk to an average um, Nigerian man, there's, there's a certain mentality they have about women. So I think it begins, I think I asked someone a question that, if we are advocating for girl child education and trying to, you know, like if I said, get them a seat at the table, who is changing that flawed mindset and that flawed mentality in the minds of the boys? So as we're educating the girls, we need to also include the boys because at the end of the day, you know, it's no man is an island. You know, everybody is going to work together. So for me, I think this whole thing is about um, it's a it's a mental issue. Let's reorient our mindset around, you know, um, giving everybody equal opportunities to really, you know, um, shine and grow. Well, thank you very much, uh, Victor. You know, what you said is actually true because the, the mind is the beginning of everything. True. We need to debug our mindset and reorientate ourselves. You know, there is a particular state in Nigeria, I would not mention the states in the north, where at first they said a girl should not have access to a smartphone. Mm. And then they have their own sort of religious police. Mm. And then later they come up, they want to monitor what they are going to do with their phones or something. Mm. And then we are talking about this era of Facebook, Instagram, and people are, are there connecting to different parts of the world. You can sure. be in your room and take a course online. Mm. You can actually interact with a prospective business partner or someone of similar interest in any part of the world. If you exclude the girl child, it makes no meaning. And then here you are, the government saying, no, we are not going to allow... Um, under 18 to have access to SIM card. So I asked myself, what will happen to 16 year old in the university? They need it. Hmm. And then if you would not allow under 18 to have access to SIM card, why should you allow under, under 10 or even under 12 to even get married? Hmm. So, hmm. It's, so we need to rework ourselves Deep because flawed. the girls and the boys are the future of the country or the nation. Um, mm -hmm. When you conduct a, a data analysis between, you know, line up men, you know, I'll, I'll say go back to Nigeria, right? Because it's really deep, even Africa. So a man just necessarily believes that a woman is lesser. So that mindset has to be dealt with first, you does, know. Does that not go back to like our religious belief? Mm. Does that not include like the religion? Itself. Well, we don't want to go into that thing. But, but, I mean, but I mean, no, it's, so it's, if you're going back to like it, Africans well, believe, mm. if you're going back to Africans believe that the woman is beneath the uh, man, does he not like you trace it back to mm. our religion? Mm. You trace it back to God um, bringing out the woman from the rib, mm. and then Africans interpreting it to be um, the woman being a part of the man, so she <laughs> should be submissive to the man. So if we are going to that direction, then we, we are going to be including our religious belief, our um, traditions and this thing. So that, that's another topic. Yeah, yeah but, but I think we're talking about equal opportunities, yeah? It's so what, why do you think that in class, the, the boy is made the class captain and the girl the assistant class captain? Why are girls always assistant head? You know, like, why are they always assistants? You know, if they qualify to become the head of the the school, maybe the, mm -hmm. the, the head of the class or the class captain, the head of course in universities. Mm -hmm. Why is the course rep almost always guys 
assistant coach reps are uh, ladies. Yes. So these are things we need to really deal with. Yeah, I think it also shows itself in like um, the tech world today where you have two co-founders. The, yeah. the main leader is the guy and then the um, co-founder is the... It's a female. Who, it's the female woman. Are human and, and what they say is because um, women are emotional. <laughs> so when, when we want to make decision or take important decision, we are too emotional to take then it. Let me show the you. The men are the logical one. That's their reasoning. Let me show you. In the tech let world. me show you. I actually conducted a research on um, and because lately I'm interested in financial trading. You know, you need in financial trading, you need to use your laptop mm -hmm. or basically a computer, yeah. either desktop or laptop. Yeah. Now studies have shown that women there are fewer women that participate in financial trading yeah. these few women globally they do better than the men the studies are so so being good at any form of career or being technically inclined has no business with gender it's important to note that girls and women should be given access to necessary education technical skills and career opportunity for them to grow and also create and make the world a sustainable place for all upness is bola yaya stay with us Thank you.